Hi, I'm Mike Isaacson, the executive producer of the Muni, and I am here at the PNZ Gazebo with Kyle Dean Massey, who is playing Tony in our production of West Side Story. And you've got some roots to this area. I do, yeah. Yeah, so you grew up in Arkansas. Yep, about five hour drive south of here. Fire drive, and you went to school at? At uh, SMS, which is now Missouri State. State, yeah, yeah, which is in Springfield. In Springfield, yeah. So you've kind of been a part of the Midwest thing. Yeah, I have. Yeah, for sure, and you definitely. played Tony in college. I did. I played Tony in college. <laughs> um, I think this production is going to be a little bit better. Yeah, well, what's the difference? No, that's actually a legitimate <laughs> question. So here you are in your life now. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, that was that was. It's been a minute since that happened, and um, you know, we we certainly didn't have like the dancers that we have here, and we're doing yeah. the beautiful original choreography, yeah. um, which is just. It's almost. A, it's almost as a. a as part of the show, as much a part of the show as the music is. That choreography is so iconic and it's so beautiful and the way it works in the show is really poetic. Um, I think it's just as important as the words and the music and I'm glad that everyone here is getting the chance to see that. Yeah. Um, it adds a lot. Yeah. No, it's just, so when you were in college, did you ever see a show at the Muni? Did you ever come up here? Um, after the war, my grandpa moved here to go to Wash U. Okay. And, um, and they would go and sit in the free seats. Yeah. Um, and they would come on like a Sunday night and then so they could see two shows at once. Yeah. And he had such fond memories of that time in his life and he always talked about the Muni and was like, I'm gonna take you guys. So he brought us up here and I saw Joseph like in ninety five, maybe okay, ninety six sure. or something. Yeah. And um, anyway, he's still alive and he's coming to see West Side. Here. He's gonna see it twice. Well, that's I was like, he you, should. I was like, you, you realize, you know, he's an old guy. Yeah. It's like you're gonna be outside for the whole time. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming to see it twice. It's so really tell cool. me about Tony. Who is he? Man, well, I'm figuring him out still. Yeah. I think you know he's he's a guy that is is trying to like grow up a little bit. Um, you know, he's got his friends that are part of this gang, and he's definitely trying to move past that. He's trying to make a better life but he's not really sure how to do it and he's not really sure where it's coming from but he just feels feels it in the air you know it's it a change is coming uh sort of thing and yeah. sing a whole song about it yeah um and then i'm i think i'm surprised when i find that it's a girl and of course you fall head on, over heels and somebody was talking about um how love really like can make barriers just disappear and that's that's true in this story um you know, whatever kind of prejudices he may have had before kind of disappear the second he meets this girl and falls yeah. in love with him. And then he's willing to risk everything for her. So it's very Shakespearean. It's yeah. very, the stakes are very high. And well, it's always interesting with this show, like like a great musical, that whatever that short list is, that, you know, through time, and you feel how the audience is responding to it. You go, there's a truth here. There's something that just goes beyond. And I'm always struck with West Side Story you know, it's young people, and yeah. part of what makes that story honest is their youthfulness, and their both making mistakes and their understanding of the world, and I think we all look at that and go, yeah, that's really a part of the human experience, and, and Tony and Maria, I mean, it's just it's so beautiful. That, like, I, I was saying to Ali, you know, well, you know, the joke is I keep showing up and there's... I haven't seen a lick of choreography in this show yet. Seriously. <laughs> I have not seen 10 days. Every time I come in... But I've seen One Hand, One Heart three times. Mm. And I'm just always moved by it because it's just so simple and pure what you two are creating. Yeah, it is. It is simple. I think sometimes those things are just very straightforward and very simple. And I think as humans, we complicate them. And there is something, like you were saying, about youth that just... Sometimes it is so naive and so pure that it's so true. Yeah. Um, and in this case, tragic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there's that. Yeah. So has anything in this rehearsal process here doing the show, I mean, it's been a while since college, but has anything surprised you? Anything you went, oh, I didn't, I didn't understand that, or this is new to me? Oh, yeah. There have been lots of moments. You know, we're so lucky here because a lot of the people have, have done this show on Broadway or national tours or international yeah. tours, and they have a really good understanding of, of, of the scenes from moment to moment. Yeah. And as you're working with them, it's terrific because there are a few of us, our director included, that are new to the show. So we've got a, f a fresh set of eyes on it and they have an experienced set of eyes. And I feel like we're finding a really good yeah. um, understanding of what things are. And um, so yeah, there, I, it's hard for me to like pick out 
any particular moment, but there are cer certain things that I'm like, oh, oh, okay, that's what that was. I don't think we did it like that yeah. when I was in college. I think we missed. I think, I think we missed that one. You know, but um, but yeah, I think it's gonna be good. That's great.